Many individuals travel to reduce stress, yet travel can also cause travel stress in certain people. Travel stress is a mental strain and pressure that occurs as a result of traveling. Despite the many good elements and advantages of travel, travel stress can cause people to have a bad holiday experience. In this article, we'll go through a few of the most frequent reasons why traveling might be stressful. Feeling overwhelmed with trip preparation, air travel experiences, fears about a destination's safety, trouble dealing with unforeseen occurrences, financial hardship, and having false expectations are just a few examples. Then, for each trip stressor, we go over a few options for preventing or reducing travel stress. Our travel stress reduction suggestions are based on research, a psychology background, and our own personal travel experiences. Is traveling a stressful experience? This is debatable. Travel has both good and negative elements, according to research, and while most studies and publications have concentrated on the positive, travel may also be stressful at times. Most people are likely to be stressed both before and during a vacation but have a pleasant experience overall. We all know that traveling has a lot of advantages. We may learn new things, relax more, broaden our cultural knowledge, spend more quality time with our travel companions, try new things, volunteer to help others, create wonderful family memories, and so on. Pre-trip difficulties and preparation, such as financial concerns, packing, making travel reservations, and establishing the itinerary, were shown to be the most prevalent stressful travel experiences, according to research. However, some people have unpleasant situations while traveling, such as dealing with bad weather, traffic congestion, airline delays, disagreements with travel companions, and transportation. Those who describe their travel experience as unpleasant are significantly less likely to reap the benefits of their trip's possible beneficial impacts. It's terrible that someone may travel to escape a stressful situation at work or at home, only to realize that travel is as stressful. The good news is that in many situations, stresses may be avoided or reduced. But the first step is to figure out what's causing your travel stress and then figure out how to deal with it. Greater than read, plane versus cruise ship on vacation, what is the best option? Greater than. Greater than learn about which one is better? Why is travel stressful? Let's deep dive and take a look at the reasons on why travel is stressful. We will also share some useful tips with you on how to overcome stress effectively. Financial problems. Financial troubles are one of the most stressful challenges we face, and they have an impact on our relationships, our job, and even our health. Money plays an important part in travel since it may restrict where we go, how we get there, where we stay, and what we can do once we get. Travel may be costly, and while there are many methods to save money on travel, it is still a significant expense for most people. This additional expenditure might strain a person's budget and cause further stress. The majority of individuals have worked hard to save money for a vacation and so feel compelled to stretch every dollar, which may be unpleasant. Worrying about the expenditures of the trip makes it difficult to enjoy yourself, and things are frequently made worse when you return home and have to pay your debts. If you believe you're the only one who worries about money, rest assured that you're not alone. The key to avoiding financial stress is to choose how much you are willing to spend and then adhere to a basic budget for your vacation. Plan the trip you desire while staying within your budget. Remember that the most enjoyable elements of vacation are usually the relaxation, the experiences, and the memories, not the destination or the luxurious hotels. Assuming that travel will help you solve all your problems. There are several advantages to traveling, but it will not solve your issues. For many people, travel is a sort of escapism and some believe that if they can just go away for a time, they will be able to solve or improve X situation. Unfortunately, travel will not solve most issues, but it can provide a welcome break from them. If you assume that going on a major trip would solve your psychological problems, professional challenges, or relationship problems, you'll be disappointed when you return home and discover that the same problems still exist. It's similar to getting married to fix a poor relationship. You may enjoy a brief honeymoon phase, but everything will most likely return to normal after that. But do let us know if you do discover inner peace, genuine love, or the universe's response out there. Travel can help us alter our viewpoints and teach us a lot, but it won't transform you into a different person or reveal hidden realities. Is it possible to cure it by traveling indefinitely? What if you never came back to your home, your work, or your family? We haven't tried it ourselves, but many digital nomads have discovered that no matter where they travel, they bring the same problems with them. You can escape a location, but not from yourself or your ideas. Greater than read, why are vacations important? Greater than. Greater than learn about vacations that can help you with stress management. Travel planning. For most people, 
the most stressful portion of traveling occurs before to departure, during the trip preparation period. Doing travel research, making travel reservations, planning an itinerary, and packing are all part of this process. It's also at this time that many individuals start to have financial concerns about their trip. From arranging things at work to reserving hotels to packing, there are so many parts to travel preparation that it may be daunting. It's especially difficult when you're organizing an independent vacation and need to research sites and create an itinerary for a place you've never been before. Rather than being overwhelmed by all the things you need to accomplish at once, the best way to make the process less stressful is to tackle it in sections and phases. Make a checklist and go through it carefully, starting with the most important items and leaving the rest for later. Enlist the assistance of any other travelers to help you split and conquer the jobs. If you don't have the time, knowledge, or desire to plan a large trip on your own, consider hiring a professional travel agent and or travel planning service to assist you. Also, keep in mind that you do not need to prepare every little aspect. You want to be adaptable and have a lot of free time. More laid-back travelers may want to plan only the major details, for example, dates, flights, and accommodations for the initial portion of the trip, and leave the rest to chance. It all depends on your preferred mode of transportation. Greater than read, how to eat healthy on vacation, answer greater than. Greater than learn about the healthy meal plan even before you leave. Having unrealistic expectations. Many individuals fantasize about their forthcoming holidays, envisioning how great and amazing everything will be once they get at their chosen location. This is a healthy way to unwind. Journey anticipation may be beneficial, sometimes even more so than the actual travel itself. If our expectations are too high, though, they will be difficult to satisfy. Unfortunately, few holidays or places can match the idealized experience advertised by tourist boards, glamorized Instagram images, wonderful travel reports that stress just the good elements of a place, or our own excessive expectations. Travelers may feel disappointed, angry, misled, or as if they miss something if a destination fails to meet their high expectations. This may make for a stressful journey and a bad experience altogether. That's not to suggest your trip won't be fantastic or that you shouldn't have high expectations, but I believe it will, like any other experience, have flaws and unpleasant moments. For example, a trip could not be as romantic as you thought, your children might not love a park as much as you anticipated, or the hotel you rented might not be as wonderful as it appeared online. Simply be aware that such things may occur and try to let the destination speak for itself. Safety Concerns Many individuals are concerned about the safety of specific places, particularly if they have recently witnessed terrorist activity, tourist kidnappings, shootings, riots, or armed conflicts. However, a location might make someone anxious for a variety of reasons. Travel anxiety will almost certainly be exacerbated if you feel unsafe. There are always a few insecure areas throughout the world where genuine danger and risk lurk, and both travel security advisories and common sense advise us not to go. People's concerns are sometimes unreasonable and out of proportion to the real statistical possibilities of getting hurt. A car accident or drowning is far more likely than being injured or killed in an aircraft crash or terrorist strike. Make your own research before deciding whether or not to travel to the place. Check out the most current traveler reports and travel warnings. Is the safety threat confined to a single city or area, or does it extend throughout the entire country? Has anybody in the region threatened, abducted, robbed, harassed, or injured tourists? Is there anything you can do to protect yourself from these dangers, for example, avoid particular places, don't carry valuables? In the end, you'll have to trust your instincts and your judgment. There is no such thing as a perfectly safe environment, so you must do what seems good to you. Greater than read, plane versus rental car on vacation, pros and cons greater than. Greater than learn about the what experiences matter the most. Managing the needs of your travel companions. When traveling alone, you just have yourself to think about when organizing your vacation and traveling. If you're traveling with a spouse, love partner, children, parents, friends, or other family members, you'll need to think about their wants and expectations as well. People frequently find this to be a difficult experience, especially if they do not agree on everything. The more individuals present, the more tense the situation becomes. When it comes to travel, everyone has various requirements, interests, and expectations. The first step is to figure out what each individual envisions as a perfect holiday. Is it drinking a tropical drink on a beach? Is it going to a large city's museums and cultural attractions? Is it trekking via a multi-day hiking trail? Is it going on roller coasters and jumping out of planes? Is it simply staying at home and binge-watching TV? 
If you were going with five other individuals and received the five replies listed above for the same trip, you may be a little anxious. Not feeling prepared enough. Some travelers may be continuously concerned about whether or not they are adequately prepared for their trip, causing them to second-guess their choices. Is it possible that we didn't conduct enough research? Is it possible that I booked the wrong hotel? Is it possible that I didn't bring the proper coat? Should I have rented a vehicle instead of taking the bus tour? What happens if I require medical assistance while on the trip? Prepare for the trip by doing any research you feel you need to do ahead of time, but keep in mind that you can't be prepared for everything. Also, there is no such thing as a perfect trip. Those who have the most fun on their vacations feel they plan the greatest possible tour slash hotel slash attraction slash restaurants based on their resources and knowledge. Doubting oneself can lead to feelings of worry and disillusionment. Greater than read, how to go on vacation when you're broke. Greater than. Greater than learn about to travel during the off-peak season. Air travel can be stressful as well. For individuals who travel abroad by plane, air travel is usually one of the most stressful aspects of the trip. First and foremost, there's the airport experience. Long queues. Crowds. Massive airports with complex layouts. Baggage charges. Security. Unexpected complications such as airline delays and cancellations, as well as overbooked flights, can cause a lot of worry. After that, there's the aircraft experience. Being suffocated inside a metal tube. Recycled air that is dry. Food is kept in boxes. There isn't any place for legs. Turbulence. Sleeping problems. There are just a few restrooms available. Passengers that annoy you. Some people have a fear of flying, or even a phobia of flying, and they may be particularly nervous throughout the trip. Greater than read, 20 tips, staying with friends and family on vacation. Greater than. Greater than learn about involve everyone in the planning. Final words. Keep these facts in mind and try to reduce the stress factors that can ruin your travel experiences. Then you can enjoy traveling like never before.